Hi artists, this is Mrs. RT, the art teacher from the Angelo School. For today's project, you're going to want a piece of paper, a pencil, and crayons or something to color with. So today we're going to read the story, The Color Box, and this is Alexander the Monkey. We're going to see Alexander the Monkey go on a little journey and find all different colors. Then we're going to draw Alexander the Monkey together and write the sentence, Alexander the monkey finds the color. Then you get to finish the sentence with any color you want. You'll write the name of the color here. And you can see on my example, I wrote the color red. And then the monkey found five different things that were the color red. We have a red apple, a red rose, red nail polish, a red Red Sox t-shirt, and a red crayon. And you'll be able to color Alexander the monkey any color you want. So we're going to start with the story and then we're going to draw together. So this is the color box. One day, Alexander found a funny looking box. He peeked inside and crawled in. Let's see what he finds. It was black, black everywhere, everywhere he looked. Only one spot was not. Alexander peered through and climbed through, and what did he find? Yellow. Yellow daisies, yellow bees, yellow bananas up in trees. Yellow, yellow everywhere, everywhere he looked. But then he looked again. He saw a high spot, and yellow it was not. He pulled himself up and dropped down, and what did he find? Orange. Orange pails, orange sun, orange hats just for fun. Orange, orange, everywhere, everywhere he looked. But then he looked again. He saw a low spot, an orange it was not. He touched the spot, wet. Alexander dove in and splashed out, and what did he find? Blue, blue sky, blue sea, blue dolphins, one, two, three. Blue, blue, everywhere, everywhere he looked. But then he looked again. Alexander squeezed through and popped out. And what did he find? Red, red apples, red roses, circus clowns with red noses. Red, red, everywhere, everywhere he looked. But then he looked again. He saw a great big spot and, re and red it was not. Alexander jumped in and jumped out, and what did he find? Green leaves, green frogs, green lizards under logs. Green, green everywhere, everywhere he looked. But then he looked again. He saw a squiggly spot, and green it was not. So Alexander wiggled in and wiggled out, and what did he find? Purple. Purple pansies, purple plums, purple pie on purple thumbs. Purple, purple everywhere, everywhere he looked. But then he looked again. He saw a skinny spot and purple it was not. Alexander slipped through and slid down and what did he find? White snowflakes, a white bunny, white snowmen looking funny. White, white everywhere, everywhere he looked. Alexander searched high and Alexander searched low. There were no more spots anywhere, anywhere he looked. But then he saw a small door and what do you think he did? He opened the door and stepped outside to see a world of colors. That was the color box. Now we're going to draw Alexander the monkey. We can hold our paper this way. This is horizontal so that the long way goes side to side. We're going to draw Alexander the monkey on one side. And then at the top, we're going to write this sentence. We wanna leave a little bit of space here so we can draw things in the color of your choice. So you can grab your pencil and your paper. And we are going to start with Alexander the monkey's face. So we can start with an oval. And 
And then we have inside a small oval for the nose. And we'll draw the mouth in there too. I like to make a big smile. But you can give Alexander any mouth you want. For the top of the head, we're going to start with this curved line, this rainbow shape line. Then we'll do this M shape line with two circles for the eyes inside. So you can put your pencil on the oval, make that rainbow shape going around. Then for that M shape, we come up, curve into a point and back around. And then two circles for the eyes. Remember, if your drawing looks a little bit different, that's okay, you just try your best. And then for the ears, we will do two rainbow shapes for each side. One, two, one, two. Now for the body, we'll start with a line that looks like the letter U. So we'll come down, go around and back up. And we'll do that twice. One, two. And the legs, you can make two rectangles. We have two lines going down and connect it. Two lines going down and connect. And then I make for the feet little curved lines. So you can give him two feet. For the arms, I make, I like to make one going up and one going down so that it looks like he's waving. You can make the arms any way you want, but I'll show you how I did it like this. So I made two lines curving up and connect it. And on the other side, two lines down and connect it. Then you can add two hands, similar to how we did the feet. And then the tail. I like to do this spiral tail. If you would like to do it this way, this is how I do it. I start with my pencil on the body, come out, and swirl around. You can put your pencil back on the end of that swirl, and then follow the line back in so that it connects to the body. And that is how we draw Alexander the monkey. Now, on throughout the book, Alexander the monkey was mostly black. You can color yours any color you want. You can see on the last page, there's a lot of different looking monkeys and a lot of different colors. But you can choose any color you want when you're coloring in your Alexander the monkey. I used purple and brown for mine. But you can use whatever you think will look best for your monkey. So I'm going to erase mine now so that we can write the sentence. You can write the sentence up at the top like this so that you have room on the bottom to draw things in that color. I'm going to write it nice and big on this whiteboard just so that you can see the letters. So we're going to start with Alexander, the monkey's name. We have a capital A. L. E, X, A, N, D, E, R. Alexander. The is T. 
H E. Monkey. M O N K E Y That says Alexander the monkey and now we're going to write fines the color F I N D S the T H E. Color. C. O. L. O. R. Then I'm going to leave a line here so that you can fill in the blank to finish the sentence. So we wrote together Alexander the monkey finds the color and you can fill in the blank. So now what you can do is choose any color you want Alexander to find. You can write that color in right where we have this blank line. And then you can color in the monkey and draw things in the color of your choice. Okay, so that was our project on the color box and our color journey with Alexander the monkey. I hope you have a great time coloring in your picture and I'll see you next time.